back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Trish and this channel is Scent Hive. I also have a blog called Scent Hive where I focus on natural perfume reviews and over here I focus on green beauty and skincare products and body products and hair care and all that good stuff. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Boxwalla Beauty Box from February. And as usual, uh, this box is just a wonderful, sturdy, beautiful box. I'm gonna go ahead and link below to Andy the Green Queen's review of this box because she does a wonderful job at reviewing the, or talking about the box itself and how they're made and the story behind them. I've done that in the past, uh, particularly on one of my blog reviews. I think the very, very first one I did for the Boxwalla, so I don't want to repeat all that information. So I'm just going to link below to Andy's um, YouTube review for this February box, just because she does a wonderful, thorough review of that, and it's and I just love her as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give you that information. So let's just go ahead and uh, get right into the contents of this wonderful box from February. So as usual, you open it up and there's a card that describes the theme of the box and also gives you a description of everything that's in it. So the card does a really wonderful job of breaking down the, some of the ingredients that you'd like to focus on or learn more about. And they just, they just do a wonderful job. It's very kind of prosaic and just a really lovely description. And the, the focus this month is the secret garden and you'll see why and i you know what i just really liked this month it was just very simple just with the pretty tape and i have used the products inside but i put everything back in their boxes just so that you could see what it looks like so love springs eternal you know with that focus of the secret garden this is from one love and i you know when i first was getting into green beauty i was very drawn to one love organics and then that just kind of you know how you ebb and flow with your attraction to different green beauty brands and i have to admit i have kind of the waxing and the waning is had leaned more towards the waning uh in the last year i would say so i, I haven't been that drawn to one love organics so when i found out there was going to be a one love organics product i was kind of like uh, I, I don't know you know it was neither here nor there about it but then when i read about the uh, love springs eternal serum i was actually very intrigued by it because the ingredients are wonderful so I'll let you know a little bit about what's in it. It has green tea oil in it, which is organic. It also has meadow foam seed oil in it, which I actually have done a little bit of research in it. Um, and it is good for acneic skin. And because it's a lightweight oil, this also has watermelon seed oil in it, which is also good for acneic skin. And it also has Barbary fig stem cells. So Barbary fig is also the same as prickly pear seeds. So I'm not exactly sure what, how the stem cells are gonna be different from just the prickly pear seed oil, but anyway, that's in there. And it also has a very light jasmine scent. So the oil itself, and I've used a good amount of it, and I do really like it. Like I was just about to say, it's a very light oil. So if you're not into heavy oils texture wise and you're not into heavily scented oils, this would be something that would be for you. I like this on, I like to wear this at night when I'm also going to put a cream on top. I mean, for the winter time. So I've been doing toners and then a serum and then an oil and then a cream. I've just been kind of doing lots and lots of layers to keep my skin hydrated and then moisturized. In the summertime, I think this would be nice maybe just in and of itself after a, doing all that with the toners and then a serum and then this oil on top, that would probably be enough. And I think during, for the day, if you do have oily skin or acneic skin, this might be good just in and of itself if you do like using oils as your moisturizer. So, and the scent is beautiful. And I was a little reluctant about jasmine because sometimes jasmine can be, even though I love jasmine and perfumes for skincare, it can just be a little bit too heavy, a little too overwhelming. So I was a little bit like, uh, how am I going to do with this jasmine um, on my face? And it's just, like I said, it's just very light. It actually dissipates quickly. So 
Overall, I'm very impressed with this Love Springs Eternal. And if you've never tried it and you are drawn to something that's a little bit, let me see if I can get that in there a little bit better. And if you are drawn to something, to an oil that's a little bit lighter weight, especially if you've been wanting something that has meadow foam seed oil in it, which is not that common. And I was doing research uh, for a friend who wanted an oil that was good for acneic skin, blemish prone skin, and meadow foam seed oil kept popping up. So I don't know. I think if you do have oily skin that this might be something for you to try. So. Anyway, I don't really have blemish prone skin. I, I used to in my 20s and early 30s, but I don't anymore. So, uh, but this, this skin, I mean, this oil still feels wonderful on my skin and I, and I have really been enjoying it. So um, I have just been very pleased to have had the opportunity to try this out. So moving on to H's for Love, I already was familiar with one of these products and that is the Barra Balm. So this is what the box looks like. And I will show you what the balm looks like untouched. That's what it looks like brand new. So I actually have used it, but I'm gonna show you the one that I already have. <laughs> And it looks like I haven't used that much of it, but I really have used it quite a bit. It's just that you don't need very much. I mean, just a tiny little bit goes a very long way. So I hardly dipped my finger in there. And this little bit is gonna coat both of my hands. So when I just start rubbing it around, this will be enough to moisturize both hands. And the scent of this is wonderful. It's just very, it's very beautiful and very unique. So at first, it might take a little while to get used to because it's very earthy. It's it's different probably than any skincare scent that you've ever smelled. And it has lemon balm, vanilla, chamomile, calendula, frankincense, lavender, just so many different aromas, but they all blend in really well together and it just makes for a really unique aromatic experience. I think, like I said, it's one of those scents that, I, I mean, you could absolutely love it on the first smell, but it might take a little bit of getting used to, but not in a bad way, it is not negative. It's one of those things where I think as you experience it, you just grow to love it more and more. And in fact, I love the scent so much. I like using it as a hand balm because it's almost like a perfume. And I don't wanna say perfume in that way that it's so strong that you're gonna smell it throughout the day, but just like I said, kind of as that aromatic experience. And then getting to the moisturizing properties, I'm gonna go ahead and list them for you. It has jojoba oil, macadamia nut oil, apricot kernel oil, pomegranate seed oil, shea butter, tamanu oil, beeswax, buckthorn, sea buckthorn oil, and marshmallow root. So it has all kinds of healing butters and oils in there to moisturize your skin. So I actually have not been using balms quite as much this winter just because my skin seems to have been wanting creams more and more. I was using, let's see, I think I got this in the early fall, I'm not exactly sure. So I was using it more then. Uh, but now since it's been we've been more in the thick of the winter I've been used like I said I've been using creams a lot more but I do feel like now that we're moving a little bit more into at least here in Portland we're, we're moving out of the really really cold weather at least I hope so so I do see myself maybe integrating balms back into my skincare routine a little bit more and so I'm really getting I'm looking forward to using the Barra Balm more frequently on my face, but like I said, I've been really enjoying using it as a hand balm. So anyway, the, the Barra Balm is a big hit for me. I really do love it, and I was very happy to see it in this February box. And then the other thing from H's for Love was their Lip Glossé, and this is their Roots and Berry, root, yeah, Root and Berry, and I actually have it on my lips today. It's tinted, as they say, with root and berry. And uh, it gets its color from a couple things, but just real quick. So berries and hibiscus, 
It has castor bean oil, beeswax. Uh, it also has sea buckthorn CO2, vanilla total CO2, rosemary CO2. And the deal with the CO2 is that it is, uh, the essence is extracted using carbon dioxide. So my understanding is things like vanilla, it's traditionally not steam distilled, that it has to be solvent extracted so that now using the technology with the carbon dioxide, you don't need to use a solvent, they use the carbon dioxide. So it's a cleaner way to get the vanilla and it also allows the vanilla to retain more of its true scent profile. So that's just kind of my basic understanding of using the CO2 extracts. So any of you guys who have more information, if there are any natural perfumers out there or just perfumers in general, if you want to chime in, that would be wonderful. If you have a greater understanding of using these CO2 extracts um, in these types of products, that would be wonderful if you want to uh, enlighten us a little bit more. So anyway, this is just a lovely product. It moisturizes the skin. I mean, it moisturizes my lips really well. Like I said, I've got it on right now. Feels great, feels very moisturizing. It just gives a nice little hint of color and it seems to last really well. I'm not gonna say that it lasts all day long. You know, if you eat something or drink a cup of coffee or have some tea, you know, it kind of wears off a little bit, but it's not a big deal to reapply. I personally like using a lip brush instead of sticking my fingers into pots. So this isn't something that I carry around with me in my bag, but it's easy enough. It feels very sturdy. So if you like to carry things like this around in your bag, that's not going to be a big deal. But like I said, I like using a brush um, on these types of products rather than dipping my fingers into them. So anyway, these are all full size products. I just think it was a beautiful box. I absolutely am thrilled with it. Love all the products, was happy to try all of them and you know, just can't say enough nice things about this February box. And the April box that's coming up is really exciting. I did post a spoiler on my Instagram, which I will show a picture of right here, I think is where it will appear. So the Amly face mist is beautiful. I have tried it and I really, really like it. I'll go into greater detail when I do that review. And then the 12, I forget exactly what it's called. It's escaping me right now, but the 12 hydrating serum, I think it's like something level hydrating serum just looks wonderful. I'm so into hydrating serums right now and I just can't wait to try that. I've never tried anything from that line and I'm just dying to. So the April box looks wonderful. I think you have until February 20th to sign up for that box. So if you haven't yet, do so <laughs> right away. I will link that below as well on how to sign up for that. And yeah, I think that about sums it all up for this review. So another big hit from the Boxwalla. Oh, and thank you to the Boxwalla for sending me this. They do send me these boxes for review, but I'm not sponsored by them. Everything is my own opinion, honest opinion. If I don't like something, I'm definitely going to tell you. If I don't think it's up to par, I will definitely tell you, but I really liked everything from this box, so. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it so much if you would do that. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.